Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to manage cloud security posture management. Microsoft Defender for Cloud, CSPM, which is Cloud Security Posture Management, provides the visibility into vulnerable resources and provides hardening guidance. In this video, we will learn how Microsoft Defender for Cloud provides security posture management and you will be able to understand Microsoft Defender for Cloud features you will be able to explain and understand Microsoft Defender for Cloud Security Poster Management Protection for the resources in your tenant in your subscription. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and I will go for Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So Microsoft Defender for Cloud continually compares the configuration of the resources with requirements in industry standards, regulations and benchmarks. So to understand the security posture management, we have to first see what are security policies and initiatives. So Defender for Cloud will apply the security initiative to the subscriptions these initiatives contain one or more security policies so set of policies security policies is called an initiative and each of those policies result in a security recommendation for improving your security poster so if you see uh, the azure policies here Click on here. These are the definitions. These are the definitions, and if you will see that the total number of policies per definition is uh, 33,666. So these are all the And if you see the initiative definition, so you click on an initiative definition here, you can name an initiative after you name it, click on policies and you can add those policy definitions here. Click on here, it will bring up the built-in policies that are already present in your uh, Azure subscription or tenant and then you can create an initiative with all the policy definitions. Okay, so then we know what is a security policy. So this policy definition that we will create in the Azure policy or will or the initiative definition that you will create is a kind of rule about specific security conditions that you want to control. You want to control that this particular size VM you're not allowing in a certain region for your users. You can create a policy, apply it by the built-in policy that is present and then to the set of to the subscription or to a resource group or to a set of users and those users will not be able to spin up a VM of that particular size in that area because you have applied a policy or you have applied a restriction all right so and to implement these policy definitions whether they are built in or custom you need to assign them so when you create a policy through the portal or PowerShell or CLI then you can assign these policies as well through portal PowerShell or CLI and they can be in an enabled or disabled state same way when you create an initiative so an azure policy is a single policy but when there is a collection of azure policy definitions or rules that will be together towards a specific goal or you want to uh, let's say set up a security initiative in which you have all the policy definitions related to security or there is a built-in security definition as well of initiative as well that you want to apply you can do that okay so it's a collection of azure policy same way security initiative defines the desired configuration of your workloads and helps ensure you are complying with the security requirements of your company or regulators default initiative are automatically assigned to every subscription all right so the default initiative is also automatically assigned to every subscription in Defender for Cloud 
is called Azure Security Benchmark. So if you will see the initiative or default initiative that is present in your tenant is the Azure Security Benchmark and it is automatically assigned. It is built on the controls from the Center of Internet Security which is CIS and the NIST which is National Institute of Standards and Technology. With the Defender for Cloud, so if I go back to the Defender for Cloud and exit out of policies and definitions, click on here. Okay, and if you will come here and you will uh, through Defender for Cloud, it will offer the options. Uh, for the security initiatives and policies that you can view and edit the built-in the default initiative when you enable the defender for cloud the initiative named azure security benchmark is automatically assigned to all the defender for cloud registered subscriptions you can add your own custom initiative if you want to customize the security initiatives applied to your subscription you can also do that within defender for cloud you can add the regulatory compliance standards as initiatives. Defender for Cloud's regulatory compliance dashboard will show the status here of all the assessments within the environment in the context of a particular standard or regulation. All right, now if you will go to the recommendations under Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Okay, here you see the secure score recommendations and all recommendations. Okay, so what are these security recommendations? Defender for Cloud would use the policies to periodically analyze the compliance status of the resources because as soon as you onboard a subscription to Microsoft Defender for Cloud, it will apply the Azure Security Benchmark, which is CIS and compliance with the NIST, and that initiative would periodically analyze the compliance status to check if there are any potential security misconfigurations and weakness or vulnerability in the environment. Then it will provide you with the recommendations and on how you can remedy it. So all you see are the recommendations based on the assessment done by Defender for Cloud because the Azure Security Benchmark Initiative is uh, the policies that are present here in the initiative. They are periodically analyzing the compliance status. Now, Defender for Cloud makes its security recommendations based on your chosen initiatives as well. All right. So, recommendations will be the actions for you to take to secure and harden your resources. Each recommendation provides you with the following information like the issue, what the issue is, the remediation steps that you have to take. So, if I click on this. All right, it will give you the description, affected resources, and if you will see the policy definition as well. Okay, here, initiative is your security ASC, which is default. Okay, it will give you the recommendations about your storage accounts for the restrict network access to reduce their attack surface. The initiative includes multiple policies, each with a requirement for a specific resource type. These policies enforce the requirements in the initiative. All right, so this was done to tell you okay this is how you can improve the cloud security posture management and there are certain more things like the secure score and then how will you explore the recommendations how you ma measure and enforce regulatory compliance workbooks etc so if i tell you about the secure score and recommendations in the next video then you will understand it more Okay, so I hope this was informative for all of you guys. 
if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day